Hello. Welcome back to Digging with Dallas. That's right. That's me. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing and liking. It really does mean the world to me. But also, hit that notification bell and leave a little comment in the bottom. I will get back to you. How amazing is that? Anyway, today's vlog. Let's talk cucumbers. Cucumbers for me have always been a little bit of a thorn in my side as such. I've never ever really been able to successfully grow them. I've got them going and then they just die off. Don't quite know why. It's one of those things that I've always tried and never succeeded at. But we're not perfect in life. But this year I thought, you know what, we're going to go for it again this year. Done a little bit of research and I can't see where I'm going wrong with it. But this year... You probably remember a few weeks ago, I went and picked up two cucumber plants from a lady called Amanda in Netland. If you're local Greek World Road in Netland, she has a plant store outside the front of her house. 50p a plant, it's a bargain that is, and it all goes to charity. It either goes to Wildline, Wildlife Sanctuary at Saxelby in Lincoln, or it goes through to Lincoln Cat Care. So both a really good charity, close to my heart. As you know, we've got cats myself, and I love my wildlife, so yeah, that goes fantastically. Can't ask for more than that. So yeah, brought two cucumber plants from it, and they were called Emily Small. And this year, look at that for a whopper. Beautiful, beautiful cucumber. And there's some more in the greenhouse. So let's dive right in there now and we'll carry on chatting and you can see the cucumbers within the greenhouse. So let's go there right now because I'm in the house. Let's go. Here we are in the greenhouse. I tell you what, it is absolutely roasting there. When I say roasting, look at this. We're near enough at 50 degrees, 120 Fahrenheit. We're not staying in here long because it is, it's unbearable. So these are the cucumber plants we brought from Amanda. They were the Emily Small ones. Um, really, really successful. You've just seen the one I've just shown you. And there's three more here growing at the moment. You can see one, two, three. They're all there. That one and that one are near enough ready for harvesting. The only problem I've got at the moment is... My middle daughter tested positive for COVID this last week. She's absolutely fine, nothing to worry about. She's got a positive test. We're all fine, we're all isolating. We've got no symptoms, no nothing. It was just a positive test that she had her year group her isolating from school because of COVID outbreak. She's caught it, but luckily she's caught it, but she's not poorly with it, so we're winning there. So no one can actually have them at the moment. So if you've got any ideas, what I can do with what, four cucumbers, I can eat them, but come on, can't eat them that fast. So back to the tomatoes, they're not quite ready yet, but as you can see, we've got lots and lots of lovely, lovely tomatoes growing on all the plants, see they're in here. So yeah, three plants, they're all producing really well. So yeah, really happy with that. I tell you what, I'm going out of the greenhouse, look at that. Yeah, step out of it. We'll shut that door again. So yeah, that's where we are with that. So yeah, we're all, all doing really fine. But yeah, if you've got anything I can do with the cucumbers, drop it in the comments box below. And I hope you're all keeping safe and well, remaining safe as we are. We're in isolation. So yeah, we're not allowed out till a week. To week as yesterday. So yeah, six days to go. Come on, we can do this. But at the same time, it's a bit of family time. We're touching base again. Oh yeah, we're just chilling out as a family and I have to say the weather is absolutely marvellous I mean could you get better weather for isolating in would you want to be stuck at home when it's raining yeah I wouldn't so yeah stuck at home in glorious sunshine what more could I ask for lots of garden jobs need doing my next one is really really boring one I'm off to clean out all my plant pots the whole lot give them a good wash put them away now ready for for next spring so yeah Bit of a boring job. I'm going to go crack on with that and I shall see you on the next one with Digging with Dallas. Bye bye for now.